All right, today we're going to look at three different measuring systems for drawing the perfect cube. And we want to do this because we're learning how to see in volume. And almost everything that we're ever going to do in representational art has some kind of dimensional space to it, um, square units of measure or cubic units of measure. So it's important that we can draw a square well as well as draw a cube really well. So the idea is in the beginning to practice cubes mechanically and then eventually move away from that and draw them freehand. And we need to know what they look like, so we have to draw a few in order to capture that. So this first method that we're going to do is called the blueprint method. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a line that runs horizontal across the page. I'm going to put a little spot on that line. This little vector represents the forward corner of what's going to be our cube. And then I'm going to draw a line that crosses through that spot. And then I'm going to run a parallel line next to that. and then a perpendicular line to the parallel lines. And then another line over here that parallels the line I just drew. So now we have a square. All right, so then we have all four of these points here that is going to eventually be important to us. Right now what I'm gonna do is go to the bottom of the page and I'm gonna draw a little spot that runs perpendicular to our picture plane. Bring this down like so. We'll find the spot probably like right here. So this represents us. This is called our stationary point, SP. Let's go back up here now and run the ruler along the edge of the square. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that ruler and I'm going to slide this along until it runs through my stationary point. And I'm going to draw a line from the stationary point through the picture plane the line we originally started with. And I will have to run this picture plane over a little bit in this direction. Add a little bit more here. All right, and that is because we're gonna do the same thing with this side. We're gonna run this down until it crosses through the stationary point. Kind of a tight squeeze here. Clipboard. All right, so now what we have are measuring points here and here. And these will be important because what we're going to do next is we're going to drop them down into our picture space and meet our new parallel line to our picture plane called the horizon line. All right, so this is our horizon line. And these two spots now are going to represent our vanishing points for the horizon line. So I want to run so it crosses through our horizon line and put a little spot out there. That's our vanishing point, VP1, vanishing point one. I'll do the same thing over on this side. And this point over here is gonna be VP2. Next, I'm gonna take one side of the square and measure it. It's roughly three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna come back down in here into my picture field, and I'm going to draw along this edge here two spots that represent three quarters of an inch. That's our true line of measure, or TLM. Next, from these two points, I'm going to take the ruler and cross between the vanishing point and these points on my true line of measure for a baseline, which is what I just drew, to the top line, which is what I'm drawing now. Top line and baseline, so TL and BL, true line of measure, TLM. All right, so next I am going to go from this forward corner to vanishing point left for the baseline on the left side, and then on the top line on the left side, I'm gonna do the same thing, run that back to the vanishing point. So now what we have are these two arrays that go out to our vanishing points, and this represents our forward planes of this box. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take from this stationary point up to these three points. Remember I said these are going to be important later on. And I'm going to make lines that cross through them. And what's more important is that these lines cross through my picture plane, this line right up here. The reason that's important, let me just draw my lines first. So 
Across this picture plane now, we have these new points. And just like I did with these two, I'm going to take these and run them horizontally down into the picture. And I'm going to run them parallel with my true line of measure here. And these represent the back edges of our box in perspective. Then I'm going to go from these two top corners and these two bottom corners. Well, just one of them actually. And I'm going to run another line from this corner baseline in the rear of the box to that vanishing point. And I'll do the same thing over here on the baseline. And I have the bottom of the box drawn, then I have the two sides of the box drawn. And I'll do the same thing on the top line, back edge top line of our box. Back to the vanishing point, back to the vanishing point, and now we have a cube drawn. And this cube came from that square. So this is our first type of practice with a cube. And we can draw this at any elevation. We can take this and we can bring it here to the horizon line or we can take it and make it above the horizon line, below or above the horizon line, in any position between. And eventually we'll get more involved here and we'll talk about the cone of vision, which is a 60 degree cone of vision around our center point of our lens. Uh, but for right now, let's just talk cubes. Let's try to practice these a little bit.